why Alexa Demi is so alluring. When It Girls are mentioned, it's hard not to mention the name of Alexa Demi, alongside Bella Hadid and Zendaya. Even when relatively speaking, her only main and high profile role appears to be Maddie Perez in Euphoria. Even so, people have already been calling Alexa an It Girl and That Girl, even more fascinated by her off screen persona than her on screen character. So what makes Alexa Demi so alluring? After all, it's not like Sydney Sweeney is any less popular. Yet more so than Sydney, girls in particular seem preoccupied with emulating the quiet confidence that Alexa encapsulates. Much like how Effie Stoneham dominated as patron saint of many defiant teen girls' ambitions and fantasies, Alexa's character, but curiously Alexa herself, is a dominant influence in modelling teen girl behaviour today. Whilst there are plenty of other women and celebrities out there, objectively just as attractive as Alexa, Alexa has an aura which makes her it. Whereas some have made a scandal out of Alexa's age, her maturity really shows in her approach to fame and celebrity status. Rather than courting controversy, Alexa simply remains grounded, unbothered, and keeps quiet, ignoring any trolls. In doing so, she avoids accidentally feeding drama or giving others ammunition to criticise her, remaining in control of her public image. To date, Alexa has only 21 Instagram posts, as opposed to Sydney's approach with 360. Ultimately, Alexa understands the power of privacy, keeping people at bay, and creating scarcity and mystique. The less you see of her, the more you want of her. Whilst it's true that a vast majority of celebrities may find it difficult to sustain relevancy without a certain level of engagement, Alexa balances this carefully by offering just enough of herself for others to find her interesting, with her style and the limited perspective we have of her persona, but not too much that we would tire of her. As Rick Marin aptly summarised, some celebrities have become so ubiquitous, so annoyingly overhyped, that you can't stand to read, hear, or speak another word about them. It seems inevitable that occupying the spotlight too long means you will be burnt by some form of hate or scandal. And now that Balenciaga is being cancelled for the sadomasochistic elements of their campaign, featuring children holding bondage teddy bears, Alexa is quick to choose her morals over money. Alexa and her team deleted all photos associated with Balenciaga and unfollowed the brand. Her actions once again illustrate that her whole brand is centred around an indifference she has to a celebrity, as opposed to a hunger for it. Prior to the severance of her relationship with Balenciaga, Alex was known for being Balenciaga's it girl. It highlights the theme that she is very selective when it comes to picking her projects. Whilst other celebrity PR teams purposely limit their public personas to help create intrigue and prestige to their fame, Alexa has not pulled back. She has always been mysterious on social media because, as she told people, she's a very private person who enjoys this space. Rather than oversharing on social media, it appears that Alexa only uses her Instagram as a digital mood board to create characters. As a result, many have labelled Alexa under the ideas of Robert Greene's book, The Art of Seduction, a siren. This could be related to the fact that Alexa's grandfather by adoption was the founding member of the Beach Boys, Dennis Wilson. Whilst Alexa describes her style as more tomboyish than Maddie's, Alexa has very sultry calmness to her personality, which makes her seductive. She says, I think you can see it even in my Instagram. You don't really get to know too much of my personality. Because Alexa does not give much away, both on her social media and in media appearances, Alexa retains a lot of core personality for herself. When asked about her high school experience, Alexa said herself, I was never a cheerleader. I didn't really go to a lot of parties. I was quite a loner in high school. And yeah, I just kept to myself. Then in, I think like 11th grade, I started a sunglasses business. It should be noted that whilst Alexa calls herself a loner, it appears that, as she said before, that she enjoys this space, being a private introverted person. She's very individualistic, with clearly a strong creative streak, 
but because the vast array of rich and nuanced emotions are hard to bend down and draw to the surface, it's very easy for people to project their own romanticised ideals onto her. This idealised projection and her seductive calmness serves as the ultimate male fantasy because sirens are figures which transport men to a realm of pure pleasure via their presence. And when people can divorce Alexa from her on-screen character, the dichotomy and polarity between her bold and loud euphoria character and her calm and private self fuels the fascination. The captivating essence and charm of Alexa Demi is in her unwavering insistence from day one to maintain her privacy and limit her celebrity exposure, which stands out amongst the sea of celebrities and influencers that not only overexpose but more importantly overshare. Her unavailability shapes a perception and dynamic of prestige and higher class, where she establishes herself as an authority of importance aided by her sense of style and fashion. When many experience the first shot of fame, they find it hard to resist their newfound celebrity status, fortune and wealth. They give in doing every brand deal they get, saying yes to every interview, overshare their thoughts in press tours, and further that by going live online to overshare their unfiltered thoughts, constantly pumping out new Instagram posts and personal content, coming out with new books, documentaries, etc. It's unsurprising, even though it may make them renowned, that the public quickly becomes sick of their oversaturation. Instead, Alexa resists this logical path, and going back to what it means to be a true it girl, Alexa remains indifferent to being a celebrity. Instead of being perceived as tacky, tasteless, or lacking integrity, because of Alexa's exclusivity, we do not know her, individually or what she's thinking, very well. As such, we can cherry pick and project what we like onto her. When a celebrity unabashedly is out too much of their real personality, it can, at first, lead to endearment towards their authenticity, but celebrities often grow too comfortable in expressing their real feelings and thoughts, that they sometimes let slip out a controversial comment which violates the standard we hold them to. Whether you idolise a celebrity or not, we, as a society, bestow the ranks of fame onto people. And so it's not unusual that we think, why should we support a celebrity we cannot defend and does not live up to our standards? After all, we made them special, we made them famous. As a result, Alexa's image is attractive because whilst other celebrities appear desperate in holding on to their fame, acting insecure about it fleeting, or asserting their entitled ego to remind us of who they are because they're famous, Alexa's indifference shows us that she does not vie for our attention. There is power in Alexa's silence. Because fame does not appear to consume her, we cannot control her by taking it away, as she doesn't seem to care for it. She epitomises a certain feminine power, exuding gracefulness and confidence, caring more for creativity and individuality, remaining true to herself, than being dominated by her fame. Rather, she controls us in choosing what to share, and we admire her self-discipline in marching to the beat of her own drum. On top of her magnetic persona, in being fiercely self-assured and vague, Alexa Demi uses her style to speak for her, as an extension to what she says. Her clothing, makeup and demeanour all make statements without her actually having to vocally say anything. Alexa teeters between a look that is trending now with her striking siren eyes, a look that is popular with influencers today, and classic 90s glam. Whilst a lot of celebrities or influencers have a tendency to follow trends, this often leads to the curation of neither style nor substance. Alexa manages to stay ahead of the curve when it comes to trends, taking bolder risks, setting trends as opposed to following them, making her timeless. It's clear that Alexa cares a lot for fashion and having a creative outlet, as she frequently talks about collaborating with stylists for Maddie's looks. And often, instead of talking about herself, she appears to be more animated when talking about fashion. 
It may be important to state that Alexa's mother works as a makeup artist in the industry, which may have largely influenced Alexa's love for glam and the curation of individual style. Alexa said about her childhood, I literally grew up with every fashion magazine flooding our house. Fashion forward, like Blake Lively's ability to provide us with the effortless glam of Serena Vanderwoodson, Alexa's glamorous and striking style blossoms both on and off screen. Storytelling is important to Alexa, with Maddie's style often sharing similarities to Alexa's. At the HBO Euphoria FYC event, Alexa chose to wear an archival Norman Norrell dress, which Maddie tries on a similar design by Norman Norrell in season two. According to Vogue, it was Alexa who introduced the Euphoria costume department to Aralda Vintage and helped mastermind the series two fashion montage scene featuring major Chanel, Tom Ford era Gucci and classic Dolce & Gabbana. Alexa is not just someone who turns up to set and puts on the clothes, she lives and breathes it. Alexa takes bold fashion risks, which makes her a trendsetter and pioneer of fashion trends. Whilst leaving a Pilates class with Hailey Bieber, Alexa opted to wear a yellow silk Prada headband and loafers, an eccentric choice with her workout wear. On the red carpet, Alexa's choices are exciting, opting for daring cutouts, dramatic tailored silhouettes and glittering details. Unlike Maddie, she is more sophisticated and darker. Moving on from the Y2K aesthetic, Rather, she enjoys melting together different looks and pieces, many of which reference the old Hollywood glamour of the 50s, with hints of the 20s and the 60s. She takes inspiration from her Mexican heritage in her hair and jewellery, on the occasion that she throws on a statement earring. Animal print is big in Alexa's wardrobe. Akin to her Euphoria counterpart, she takes a maximalist approach to her makeup, with Alexa heavily rimming her eyes with eyeliner, Ultimately, the designation of fashion icon and it girl is not meant for everyone, with this exception falling flat, but clearly it is for Alexa.